Hello folks, it's me, the old deplorable basket case here. So I've just been and gone seen Star Wars with my sister. Uh, little brother was uh, from basic to this this weekend, so I hoped he could come along, but he got the same thing from my mother that I did. I hope he feels better soon. <laughs> anyway, um, it was a good movie. Um, there were some really sucky characters who, ca who, ca who made it a lot worse. It could have been really awesome, and it's just awesome. Fun movie. Um, started badly, got awesome, then was awesome for a bit, and then got bad. And I got it, 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 <sighs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of a back and forth movie. Not it's not like the 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 original films or the prequel trilogy. You know, the original films were just great all the way through, and the prequel trilogy was just sucky the whole way through. So it's. I think it's better than, than than episode seven. I think they're going in the right direction. Now, um, I wouldn't be talking about it in this channel. This channel is for uh, political issues and social issues and things like that. Things I feel the need to talk about. Except that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I saw a thing here on this website a little while ago entitled uh, "Women Are Ruining Star Wars." Apparently, a person, or at least some, or some people think that uh, feminist influence is ruining Star Wars. And these new female characters who were introduced in this film, the, the aforementioned psychic characters, are uh, have ruined the whole thing. I take issue with, I take issue with that on two counts. Firstly, they didn't ruin it. They made it worse, but it's still an awesome movie. It would have been better without them, or if they'd been done differently. And second, um... The vast majority of the screen time these characters had, they could have been male, and it would have been no different. It would have made no difference. They're not bad characters because they're female characters. They're bad characters because of bad writing. That's it, really. Yeah. <sighs> Great movie, though. Started bad. I mean, you, you can't hear a, a Star Destroyer come out of hyperspace when you're on a planet service. You can't. It is literally impossible. I mean, suspension of disbelief, just they threw it out the window in the first one minute of the movie. It, but they bought it, brought it back. Oh, man, <laughs> they brought it back. Call for a locks. Uh, then they really blew, blew the suspension of disbelief on the, uh, the bomber, the bombing run. It was bad. That was... Very, very bad science fiction. It, but uh, but the, the original Death Star attack scene was uh, basically a remake of the Dan Busters. So it was good. It's, it's good to see that people know, know where their roots are and where they're coming from. Oh, good, good. Nice callback, I thought. So I actually, actually like that bit. <clears throat> um, but I digress. Anyway. Um, Star Wars is not being ruined by women. It, it you might there are people who dislike these the, the newest movies, and that's fine. You can dislike these movies. You can think that Star Wars is, is going bad. You can say they're just as bad as the prequels. I, I would take issue with that. I would argue with that. But you can hold whatever opinion you want. But I gotta say, I gotta say for the record, for anyone seeing this, or anyone ever who who has an interest in this, women are not ruining Star Wars. It's not that. And that's all I got to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please ha please uh, comment below anything you have to say. I'd just like to know what you think. And I hope you enjoy the I hope you enjoy Star Wars. That's all. Have a good night. And God bless.